Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about the very interesting thing about the variables, the local variables and the global variables. For example, if I just go here and if I just make a variable here, I'm making a variable here like var and uh, I'm closing this, closing this one and the var here, I am adding in space and I'm writing a variable for example I'm making it var1 equal to I'm adding some value like hello world saving it now I am going down and uh, right here I'm making something like uh, I'm using it fmt.print ln and here calling the var1 saving it going there and running it up I've got the result here you can see that okay that's awesome the hello world but what if I have made this variable out of the main function like here so I'm gonna get the result I'm just running it up again and okay you can see that I've got the result here too but if I make another function here func main like that and sorry i just cannot have another function anyway so func test okay i'm going inside and here i'm writing var2 equals to hello from the other side or let's make it other function so it would be gen1 um okay i can see that the error because we didn't use that so I am using that right here fmt.println and here var2 and saving it now I I need to test it by running it here test like that saving it now going here and running this up now I'm gonna get two things hello world and hello from the other worlds now if I print one more thing print ln and here I'm writing a var1 now I've made the var1 here and I have used it here I'm using it another function now I'm running it up again okay hello world hello from the other function hello world now I'm making a variable here var3 and I'm putting the value hello from the main function okay and i'm calling it into the another function print ln and var sorry var3 saving it now um, you can see that undefined var3 what is the meaning if i just run this up i'm gonna get something wrong you can see that there is an error it's telling that var3 is not created yet but we have the var3 in the main function now this is the difference between the local and the global variables a local variable can be made inside a function and can be used inside that function only okay for example here we have made the var2 we cannot use the var2 in this function in the main function at all because the var2 we've created inside this test function so var2 can be only used inside the test function if you make another function and you rename it like test1 test2 test3 something like that so whatever value you put in that or whatever variable you create in that that would not be acceptable in any other function that's clear but if you make a variable out of any function that's called the global variable uh, let me write that global variable now you can access uh, to this variable the var1 variable and its value in the main function too in the main function and in the var in the test function too okay so you can see that this is a global variable because it is not inside any of the function at all but the var2 and var3 are inside the main function and the test function so they cannot be called outside of their own functions they are the local variables let me write that too i think it is very simple rule but you need to know maybe uh, you just do it cannot be called outside outside 
of the function okay let me write that so all you need is to just look what I'm doing and copy so you would understand the easiness and it won't make you any trouble okay so one more thing here when it comes to the variables the local and the global variables there are the you know parameters and they are called former parameters now the former formal parameters are actually f used and treated as the local variables now for example you have a variable here first let's talk about the variable again you have a variable here the var1 and we are we just use the var1 here and we just use the var1 here to when we got the result but I'm deleting this one for now because we do not need that but what if I have another variable var1 equal to and I'm writing hello from the other function number 2 saving it now I'm going here and I'm testing this up again now I got the okay 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 I got the problem because it's not being used I'm deleting that local variable or um, fmt dot print ln let's use this one two or three saving it now going here and testing this up okay now just notice a few things first of all in the main function it printed the var3 okay the var3 is hello from the main function you can see that the var3 then it printed the var1 and absolutely because there is no focus on the condition there is no local variable in this main function which can be called as var1 so it's now after looking for the local variables it's now looking for the global variable so there is a global variable the var1 and it is hello world so the hello world has been printed now after that we are printing the test we are calling the test function now it's looking for the test function and the the very first thing to be printed in the test person uh, test function is fmt.println var2 so the var2 is hello from the other function it's printed and now var1 now you can see that there is a global variable and there is a local variable too this local variable var1 hello from the other function number two is printed here instead of the hello world because first it's looking for the local variable the local variables are preferred and if we don't find a local variable it'll automatically look for the global variable the var1 hello world so this is how it works and I think it is very simple and cute okay now uh, now we're gonna talk about the next thing I'm making the var uh, oh ha, 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 var var4 equal to hello from var4 world <laughs> anyway now I'm calling this first here because I don't want it to be give us an error okay I've called that now here there is something I'm adding as var4 okay and here I'm writing I'm having okay it's not a type let me mention the type int and here I'm writing new var4 world okay and what's happening here of our type uh, oh i made it integer let me made it a string saving it okay now now what's happening here is i'm going here an fmt dot print ln and here the var4 okay this var4 is coming from here and there is a var4 there is a var4 i'm printing i'm going here back and running that up and now you're gonna see things now here hello from war4 world this is coming from this one then it's printing the test one two and three one two and three new war4 world now again the pr parameters are preferred over the global variables there is a var4 gl global variable too and we are calling the var4 here but because here in the parameter there's a var4 so first it's checking for the value here and there's a value new var4 world so first it's printing this new var4 world instead of the var4 hello from var4 world so i think it is clear that local variables and the parameters are preferred over the global one once we check that there is no local variable or the parameter it looks for the global variables so this is how it works 
So in the next lecture, we're going to talk about a lot of more interesting things. Till then, stay tuned.